right, so this replay came from Odd Boz, my good friend. Thank you so much for sending this over. We're going to go ahead and react to this replay, who he says he has a nuke in this, the German Bulldog. I've played this a couple times. It is pretty beastly. It's got good penetration. So we're just going to go ahead and watch here and just kind of see what he does. He's just moving, holding that forward button down as he should. Kind of going through these nice little open warm plains. Love seeing these nice sunny maps. Just, I don't even know what it is. I even kind of like almost feel the outside warmth just when playing this. Maybe it's just because I'm so close to my computer and when I record with it, I can just feel the warmth from that just radiating off of it. So he's doing his job, doing what he's supposed to be doing, using that mobility to get to those effective positions right off the bat. Now I'm not sure what that 50 cal noise is. Sometimes Gaijin's replay system is a little glitchy. I think those may be sounds either from other teammates or something close by just shooting their machine guns. <laughs> it's like, but it sounds like it's as if Odd was shooting it. Sometimes just as, that's just how War Thunder's replay system can be. Now this can be a fairly common traffic area, which is why I'm guessing he's just going right into scope mode here. Coming down these main roads here. Trying to be prepared. Now Odd is a very, very good player. I love his channel. He has some excellent gameplay. So I don't question, I'm not rating any of this. <laughs> I am just simply reacting to it. Honestly, I have way more to learn from Odd than, uh, than people have to learn from me. So now he's hearing a lot over to the right and even just right behind him too. And he's in a very just excellent position here. Uh-oh. Wow, I would have to say he got real, real lucky there. I don't even know how he didn't kill him there on that, that shot. Okay, this tree may be putting him in a bad spot. Doesn't look like there's anyone behind him. Holy cow. Those are one of those, those moments that you just have the blood just start just rushing. <laughs> now he did hear someone behind him. Now this is excellent. He's gonna try, I think, cr trying to come up right behind him. Oh, and he's going off to the left. Wow. Ooh, and just before he's able to get the shot off. Now he did hear someone right behind him when he was parked in that spot, and there is quite a bit of people marked on the map. We've got some ghost 50 cal around, shots being fired. I think Gaijin needs to tweak and work on their replay system just a little bit. Must be some of the 50 cals coming from in, in the town area. Nice. Now, it doesn't quite finish him off. He, can't, he could be just taking that shot just to take a look at his surroundings, which is super smart. And there are some others that were just around him, so super smart. I sometimes get tunneled in trying to just focus on taking out that one target, but it was super smart of him just to take that shot and then just focus elsewhere as there's other sounds just going on around him. Now, coming up from behind enemies is one of the best things you can do. Really catching them off guard coming up through these flanks. Now, there are some noises off to the left, but looking at the map, those most likely are his own teammates. And cutting out over across this field is pretty open, but the enemy spawn is much further out across the other side of the map, so... He can really take the advantage of cutting out around this area and then even catching the enemy on their flank or uh, behind them even more. So I could already tell this is very, very well played.
that's one thing I've really noticed about Odd when watching a lot of his videos. Oh, excellent. T92, I believe, is what it is. Does an excellent job, I think, taking out most of the turret crew. That puts him in a very bad spot. Knocks him out. Oh, and so close. <laughs> he might have not had that reloaded yet. The Bulldog does have a pretty good reload. Now, being you don't have that, like a ballistic... Um, that ballistic cap round like you do on some tanks this one you do have to end up getting multiple shots off on the enemies to kill them and having to be pretty particular now it looks like he might have been trying to guess and it looks like he may be thinking the toy round I can't re <laughs> I can't remember what it's called it just looks like a little propeller on the back of it I actually need to learn the rounds a bit better maybe have more drop to it so there are a lot of enemies over around a right behind him off to the left that were just marked on the map the team is taking a And very smart to be paying attention over to that right side as that's where the enemies are going to be coming from. And just being very, very observant. I do this a lot too while I'm playing and just constantly moving around. I'll use that third person view and only use the binos when I really think I see someone. Now he sees another bulldog here. He's moving up, kind of pushing through those rocks. Is he still paying attention, it looks like, to his left? And there he is. Oh. <laughs> it almost looked like he was looking up at the sky. That guy had no idea where he was getting shot from. Now, this is such a capable vehicle. You've got the maneuverability. You've got a like pretty good cannon with great penetration the 50 cal like i said a lot going for this thing however just accept the very little armor it has now that's where you have to be real careful with it now we're not hearing anything yet he could just be scoping it out there are more to mark targets off to the right side but Replay system was just showing him just get taken out. And at this higher BR, I feel like you have to keep moving because these planes, once you take off some of the players and they know where you are, and if you stay there too long, they really hone in <laughs> and you just get messed up. So five kills, five assists. Ooh, I actually thought he was alive for a second. But he is hearing something over to his right, and he's being real smart here, making sure he's making sure he's quiet, hoping to see this enemy come right in his view. He knows on his map there's none of his friends near him, so that must be an enemy. There he is. And that 50 cal just doing its job. Just work in these lighter tanks. Man. And that observancy is just incredible. I didn't even see that. But being very, very aware. I had no idea what a 50 cal was capable of when it came to other vehicles until I started playing War Thunder. And man, is it impressive. This is just such a beautiful map. Such a beautiful area. I would love to go walking through this town. Just excellent. Doing an amazing job coming up from the sides, the flank, knowing how to just read the map 
what's being spotted and just listening to those sounds. Just taking a stop every once in a while. Sometimes I get so caught up in just the, <laughs> the holding down of the forward button that that's kind of what gets me. And I sometimes misinterpret my own engine sounds for enemies and vice versa. Now there's still a lot of noise. Oh, and this tortoise is not in a good spot. Now it looks like On's being very, very careful where he wants to hit him. Looks like he did get his engine. Non-pen in a spot that I thought would have been very easy to have gotten him. This tortoise knows he knows he's in a very bad spot. As a tank destroyer, this is. <laughs> <laughs> this has got to be the worst, knowing that you've got a light tank coming along your flank and you've got no support to help you. And we can see here, Aw oh, just has an idea of where he is. This can always be really scary. Looks like he's able to take him out just before he's able to turn around. I know for me that's always a little nerve-wracking when you see a tank being able to turn around and you have nowhere really able to go and hoping to take him out before he's able to get you. Now at this point, nine kills, five assists, over 3,300 points. This is an excellent game. I bet Odd has, this is, this is a, an everyday life situation for Odd, right? <laughs> this is how every single one of his games are. Wow, I actually thought he hit him there for a second. Oh, and so close. Excuse me. It actually looked like his shell had hit his wing for a second. Now this plane may be wanting to try and get him. Oh yeah, he's coming right in with those bombs. Uh oh, uh oh. <laughs> oh man, that is always intense and pretty scary. Especially when those bombs end up like bouncing off walls and ridges and things. Wow, excellent job of taking them out. Putting that plane in a just really bad condition. Now, I don't know if it's possible. I've never seen when you end up shooting a plane. Is that a... Oh, it is! Very well seen and played. Taking out that barrel. Now, this guy does have the machine gun. The bulldog is... Man, this is just amazing. Oh, now he is in a very bad spot here. Oh! <laughs> but very well played. He had taken out the IS-2's barrel, turned and then focused on him to hopefully do more damage. Unfortunately, was not able to... Um, get himself in a safe enough position to knock out what he needed on that Centurion, I believe is what it was. And we're going to go ahead and fast forward it now to the epic moment we've all been waiting for. Oh, and he looks like he's running into an enemy plane. This is not something you want to see when you just get a nuke. So what I was saying earlier is I haven't really seen it before where when you're shooting at a plane, it shows the damage screen and then shows the crew getting knocked out. So I don't know if you can actually knock a crew out. I've always just seen aircraft destroyed and that's it. Oh, and there it is. I think he's just dropped it. Absolutely beautiful. Well job. Well done, Odd. Such an awesome game. 
just see him casually just flying away from the battlefield as if it was just a breeze. <laughs> Leaving everyone to be just turned into dust. And continues on his wonderful journey home. Well done. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this. Excellent uh, video from Odd. This is the Muffin here. You guys stay cool and keep tanking.